and welcome to another LEGO Hidden Side set review. This is set number 70427. Top of the box there, show you some of the characters you get in here. And then here is a quick look at the back of the box. Quick look at the instruction booklet here, quite thick. Steps are very easy to follow despite a lot of the same colors. And then on the back here, see, hey, don't forget to scan the app. I actually just quickly uh, played this app before filming this. And this level here is uh, pretty quick, pretty short. You only you know, shoot like one ghost and stuff. Uh, very quick and easy to do. Very quick to scan as well. Over to the set itself, there are four sticker locations. We have this two uh, computer screen panels here. And then we have this Newberry Park as well as a Subway logo. So I guess this is meant to go with the set I just did. And the interesting thing about this set is, uh, you know, you see from the color, that this whole thing is meant to be like a monster set like it doesn't hide anything this doesn't transform back into a regular thing it is permanently in a monster ghoulish state and i quite like it you know the blue and black colors quite nice i like the lime green lamp there There's some claws here on both sides and of course we have the face there that you can uh, move the eyebrows just a little bit there is a little bit of space just here where you put some spiders in there look at it from the back push that up and the spiders will fall out and finally um, in the middle here you got this nice little entrance corridor thing uh, smooth studs inside so that that smooth place inside that's a little bit annoying I would have preferred it there to be studs so I can actually like walk a mini figure through it then going into the subway we have a Lego bat in this set and two of these spiders as well as a few of these spare studs and pieces I'm guessing this is meant to be a nighttime or alternate world or something because our main character is also in blue skin which is uh, very interesting one of the other reasons why I want to pick this up set just for some of the unique figures he's got the same like mold and stuff like for his hat it's just done in different colors and he still has a secondary face just like his regular look so that's pretty cool his uh, phone seems to be the same as the other sets our second figure here we have this red ghost which looks like a um, lumberjack I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. And Monty Python song stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty decent torso. You can probably use that on a regular figure as well. The transparent head here is very nice. Nice crimson red color. Makes me think of strawberry jelly and the torso there is pretty nice. But I prefer this red was like the same as that. That would be really awesome. And then also we have these two girls which are, are not identical. They have different faces. This one first here. Pretty nice looking. Very uh, pukish color or pumpkin color, if you will. And this one has a smiley face. Otherwise, they are the same. <clears throat> so overall, uh, yeah, this is a pretty interesting set. It's a bit different from the other ones just because, you know, it doesn't transform back into, I guess, regular mode. But if you like something that's a bit ghouly or you like something a bit neonish color, this is a very nice looking set. Even without the gameplay, I think it's, uh, it's still a nice set for the parts and pieces so pretty cool um, one thing I will note that is that these claws if you don't put them up they can get caught on things a little bit too easily but otherwise this is a decent set subscribe suggest and comment below and go stick and have a nice day I will see you guys soon bye bye now